गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी पार्ट थ्री ऑफ योर क्लास ट्वेल्थ कॉमर्स इन आर लास्ट लेक्चर वी स्टडीड अबाउट दी डायमेंशन ऑफ बिजनेस एनवायरमेंट इन विच वी डिस्कस अबाउट दी इंटरनल फैक्टर्स ऑफ माइक्रो एनवायरमेंट टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स ऑफ माइक्रो एनवायरमेंट एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स आर दो फैक्टर्स विथ होम a company comes into direct contact it can be an individual it can be a group or it can be an agency so there are mainly four types of factors one is customers second is competitors third is suppliers and fourth is middlemen first we will be discussing about customers a customer is the one who buys a company's product not even buy even he uses its product and a company is created to satisfy the needs and wants of any customer so a company has all always this motive how to satisfy the customer it tries to produce those products which are the demand of any consumer which are needed by any customer so it is one of the factor which affect any business decision it is one of the factors which affect the decision of any business organization second is competitors there are mainly two types of competitors available in the market one is called a direct competitor another is called indirect competitor direct competitors are those competitors who are producing the same type of product what we are producing like example of mobile phones Sony mobile phone is having competition with Samsung mobile phone, MI mobile phone, and other brands. This is called direct competition. Second is called indirect competition. Indirect competition means suppose one cinema hall having its competition with with another. entertainment source like casino few may feel like going to cinema hall to watch movies few might like to go to casino so this is called indirect competition third is suppliers suppliers are called those individuals or agencies who are supplying raw materials and different components to any of the company a company has to largely dependent on the suppliers if a company having production work it has to depend on the suppliers that they must supply the products in time to the company if they do not supply in time the company's production work may hamper not only in time even the quality product is also needed if the raw material is of not good quality then the company production final production will not be up to the mark there will be reduction in the quality so a company has to make sure that the supply su supplier supplies the product in time in good quality and even at good prices and one company should not dependent on one supplier because due to any of the reason the one supplier might not supply the product in time so it should buy the product from different suppliers 
नेक्स्ट इज मिडिल मैन मिडिल मैन आर कॉल्ड दोस पीपल और दो फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन सॉरी दो एजेंसी हु आर हेल्पिंग अ कंपनी टू सप्लाई द प्रोडक्ट इन दी मार्केट और टू द कंज्यूमर्स दे मे बी रिटेलर्स दे मे बी होल सेलर्स और दे मे बी एजेंसी और डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स दे एक्ट एज अ लिंक बिटवीन अ प्रोडक्शन हाउस and the consumers so there should be a good chain of the middleman in order to frequent supply the product in the market now one more factor which is also important is called financial financiers these financiers are those financial institutions or banks who are helping a company in raising loans so the so the attitude of the financial financiers matters for any of the company if company wants to raise loan through shares but the shareholders are not interested in taking risk then the company cannot raise the loan company will have to go for another option may be for bank loan or why or issuing a debenture so here this point comes to an end in our next lecture we will be discussing about macro environment in detail thank you have